Hi guys, Virginia here and I'm back with another 12 by 12 process video for you today and this one's for the Spiegel Mum Scraps Design Team and yeah, so I've got this cut file, it's um, a large title uh, that says Bubbles <laughs> and it's got a whole lot of bubbles on it <laughs> so I decided I wanted to use it um, you should be able to find it um, in the Spiegel Mum Scraps shop if it's not there it won't be far away um, but yeah, so there is uh, free cut files in the Spiegel Mum Scrap Bigger Mum Scrap Shop, gosh, I'm a bit tongue twisted today. <laughs> um, and they're PNG files um, as well, just so you know. Um, and yeah, so this was one I've designed. So I, yeah, when I made it, I was like, oh, I really want to use that. <laughs> so I'm going to use it. Okay, so I have the photo you can see to um, the right of the screen. It's Edison we were um, playing. It was at the pools, but they've got like this water feature thing in it, um, like splashes water and bubbles and stuff. And that just just the photo, and um, it just goes really well with this title. So um, that's why I'm going to use the, that photo. And I've pulled out my um, Eco Park. Is it Eco Park? I think so. <laughs> Just put it away. Um, imagine that girl collection. Um, and I thought that that would be nice because I wanted to bring in um, some of these shimmers that I recently got from the Spiegel Mind Scrap Shop as well. I did a um, purchase of these shimmers product. I think it was for the March pre-order and I've got a whole lot of um, shimmers and they're these like shiny sparkly kind of paints and they're really cool so I wanted to use them. Okay, so I'm going to go through and back the cut file. I'm not going to back the letters. I'm just going to back the bubbles, but not all of the bubbles. Um, if that makes sense. Of course it makes sense. Um, and yeah, so I'm going to go through. I'm just using... At first I was going to stick with kind of plainish patterns, but then I decided to bring in some um, bigger patterns as well, just to kind of fill in those bubbles and to bring some more of that colour that's in that collection in. So I've done most of the bubbles. I do go ahead and do the larger ones later, but um, I was quite eager to get out these shimmers and have a little play. So um, I thought I would pull out the ones that I think go with this collection. I wasn't too sure which colours I was going to use, so I did a little tester, and what I did was just swipe it on a bit of white cardstock. I've let it dry, and I'm just grabbing a little... Um, I think it's a half an inch circle punch and I'm punching out that colour, sticking it on a glue dot and then sticking it on the bottom of the bottom of the um little pot and that's gonna be my I guess kind of paint swatch for each of them so I can pull them out later and um use them to match the colours up properly. So for the back of my card stuff, I'm gonna have that title running across the centre. I've just applied some white gesso just to prime my paper, it's all nice and dry now and you can see I've finished kind of backing that cut file and I'm just going through my shimmers deciding what ones will match and those little swatches on the bottom of each of those pots um, are a great way to do it um, so there we go, I'm showing you all the colours that I'm using if you can see them, <laughs> if you can't, you might want to pause it um, it's flying through them um, but yeah Okay, so I'm going to treat this like I would any other um, kind of paint or spray or mist. I've just got a little bit of packaging and I'm just using my paintbrush and I'm popping it on this piece of packaging. I'm adding a little bit of water and I put it down. I've realised that I've never used these before. The paints are really quite thick, so I did have to add a bit more water than what I initially thought I needed to. But that's okay. Um, it does not dull the sparkle in them at all. Um, I'm again going through to my next colour, the pink, adding a bit of water. I'm going to add a bit more water just to get that colour moving around the page. And I'm just trying to have a separate colour behind each of those letters. So I'm just pulling that pink out a little bit more. And I'm going to clean it up and go to the next one. So we've got a green. I'm just shaking it up um, just to kind of stir up some of that sparkle that we've got going on. Add a bit of water, really simple process, <laughs> just making sure they fill in behind each of those letters as they go, and there we go, I've kind of skipped to and all done, I wanted some real pops of dark colour along each of those um, bits of colour that I've got on the background, so I'm just dipping my paintbrush right into the pot and just kind of splattering it on so they're in really intense kind of pops of colour just scattered out from each of those big blobs of colour. <laughs> Gosh I'm getting technical today aren't I? <laughs> okay I'm going to go into this minty colour green 
and we skip two that's all done and I was going to use my gold liquitex ink but then I remembered I actually did buy a goldy colored one um, and I, I thought it was gold and it is it's a really it's called Christmas cheer um, so that's that comes out kind of gold as well and then you can see I've just done a little kind of sample um, so I'm just going to do the same with that but kind of splatter it all um, all over the place just to get some pops of gold around the layer and there we go I've let it dry I've come back I've backed my cut file with some adhesive foam tape and um, I've decided to use this dark blue uh, pattern paper from the Imagine That collection with the polka dots it just kind of goes with the bubble uh, feel of the layout so I've just I decided instead of framing it because my title just about goes all the way to the edges of the paper instead of doing four sides frame I'm going to do the top and bottom but I wanted a really nice chunk of that pattern paper so I've just torn off maybe an inch and a half um, from the top and bottom of the white piece of cardstock and then I'm just going to mount that directly onto that pattern paper um, I'm just going to trim off the excess a little bit I don't know what bit was <laughs> was off either the white cardstock wasn't quite 12 by 12 or the pattern paper was more than 12 by 12 <laughs> um, I guess we'll never know <laughs> Okay, just removing that backing off that adhesive tape on my cut file and then I'm going to pop it in place and I can set about embellishing the layout. Okay, so I want to bring some of the patterns uh, behind my photos. I'm just pulling out scraps that I've got on top pretty much. So I'll bring a bit of pink, I'll bring a little bit of this purple. Just using my ATG gun to tape it down, trim off the excess. And then I think the final layer of this dark blue, and that's kind of repeating that pattern that's going on in the background, so that's tying that photo in with that. And I decided that that spot there, just at the left, was a kind of a good spot. Um, I wasn't covering up too much of the bubbles or too much of the title, but it fit quite nicely um, in there. Okay, so I'm going to go through the, the die cut packs. Um, and just kind of pull out what pieces I think I can use. I, I've used a, a lot of this collection, so there's, um, I think I'm left with the like non-user friendly pieces, <laughs> like you, you usually do with most um, scrapbook collections that you get. Um, so I'm just trying to see what I could bring in. And I like the idea of this tag, and I struggle with it for quite some time because it's rather large, it's quite dominating, it's almost the size of my photo. Um, I do end up trimming it down slightly just to make it feel a bit smaller um, but it comes off comes on <laughs> goes back um, and it eventually does stay so I'm just going through pulling in pieces um, I like the idea of tucking something in that top uh, right hand corner um, so I've got a frame a little tag and this little other die cut sentiment that says magic and wonder and then I found this other one that uh, say something about imagination I can't quite see it because there's a big <laughs> thing in the screen um, I thought that that was quite cool and I wanted to add that on so I've just tucked that down the bottom um, right hand side of the layer as well so I've kind of got my three um, clusters going on here um, my photo being one of them and then that's kind of connected to the title so I'm just trying to find something else to layer up with that piece and I do settle on this floral die cut piece. I did like the idea of that cap because it was circular. Um, I wanted to bring in some circular pieces, um, but it's a bit big so that doesn't make it. I do have to pull out three other little circular pieces that I find um, in those die cuts and just kind of scatter them around the place as well. Now this, um, this is another Eco Park collection. I can't remember what it is, I'm sorry. Um, but it's got a bunch of mermaids and stuff on it and I pulled that out as well because I saw the little fish on it and I thought that, that would be quite cute for kind of like a water um, themed layout so I'm only pulling off a few of the pink and the blue ones uh, I didn't want to add yellow to this layout because there's no yellow going on anywhere else so I've just cut off a few of them and just kind of scattered them around the page and now I'm going to go back to the Eco Park Imagine That stickers and I did pull off this chipboard uh, sticker from it's one of the older Eco Park summer collections um, 
I saw that when I was digging through my stuff as well and I thought I should pull that out because <laughs> the title is Bubbles. So we've got a little bubble wand going on and I'm just kind of continuing to go through bringing out pieces that I think that I can add to the layout that kind of makes sense. I mean a little bear dancing on a bubble doesn't make sense but <laughs> um, I get it off my sticker sheet so <laughs> that's a win. <laughs> Okay, so I've gone through the sticker sheet, there wasn't really that much on there. I'm going to go through the triple pieces, and I don't think I actually even pull anything off there that I end up using. I did try that speech bubble, and you see that tag goes away, but it just wasn't wasn't right. Oh, I do use this happy day piece, I lie, <laughs> I did. Um, I think that's the only piece I end up using. Um, I do desperately try with this piece up here, but I just couldn't get it to work. It just wasn't wasn't looking right. So that does end up being taken off and that cluster goes back to the way it was, um, as you'll see there. Okay, so I'm going to put those chipboard pieces back in place. I'm happy with this stuff. I'm going to glue it all down and then I'm going to start uh, with my sequins. So just basically, as I normally do, starting from the bottom, working my way up. Uh, this piece is going to be propped up on some foam, just for a bit of dimension to that cluster up there. I'm going to pop a little bit of glue behind that fish just to make sure it sticks and then I'll just kind of continue my way around the layout. I'm going to pop this up on a little bit of foam on the side because that cut file is dimensional so I want it to stay flat and here we go. Skip to it's a pretty simple process gluing everything down. Um, now the fun part, the sequins. So I'm pulling out a bunch of mixes. I've got the newest uh, release ones here. Um, Equitini Dreams, Happy Days, Dose of Reality and the Confetti, confetti Burst as well um, they're from the newer release and I'm going to pull out colours that match each of those letters in the title so I'm going for dark blues now so I'm just finding all the dark blue sequins I want a variety of shapes and sizes and so I'm going through that and this dose of reality one is really cool. There is some little clear, well, there's blue and then there's a minty kind of green clear <laughs> um, hearts in them and they're dimensional and they're gorgeous um, and I didn't even realise that they were in there until I tipped them out. So um, you'll see that I've added a dark blue one there and I've also bought out some of the, the sparkly effervescence mix which is those little clear droplets so I'm going to definitely add a lot of them around the page like bubbles. And yeah, so I'm just going through the blue now, just picking from the sequin mixes that will match. I'm going to start on my purple section now, just pulling purple ones, and I'm going to add that sparkly effervescence. Now I'm going to go through Dose of Reality and pull out some purples. Just kind of, kind of just scattering them around the place. I really want to fill them in on that, um, those patches of the shimmers paints just to add to them and add a lot of sparkle um, to the page because those shimmers are again really shimmery so it's all kind of adding to the layout so I'm just going through with the purple just bringing them out ever so slightly from the top and the bottom of that cut file on the page okay one more purple now I can start on the green again just going through all the different packs I'm going to go through Confetti Burst now. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a bit of a frog in my throat. And there's some light greeny bluey ones. I'm adding those little clear droplets. And now I'm going to go through my sequins. And this is, I think it's called Breeze. There are some really lovely uh, greeny coloured ones in that mix as well. So I'm adding them to it. The, th the thing I love about sequins is you can always find something that matches. So yeah okay so I've gone ahead and done the rest of them it's a pretty simple process um, you don't want to watch me glue them all down uh, but there was a bit of a splatter up that top left um, so I just covered it with an extra fish and popped a few little uh, clear droplets up there but that's it for my process I hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to use code Virginia15 in the Speaker Mum Scrap shop to get yourself 15% off your next purchase but until next time bye guys mm -hmm.